Hey, what's going on, guys? It's Greg here today, bringing you guys a Call of Duty Modern Warfare gameplay commentary. What you guys be watching in the background is an all or nothing gameplay I just got. Uh, this was my second match of playing it. I'm going to give you guys a few tips if you are wanting to go into this playlist and try it out. Uh, this is an old game mode from back in Modern Warfare 3 where basically you have a knife, a throwing knife, and a pistol. Your pistol comes unloaded so you have no bullets and you have to try to get kills with your throwing knife or knife in order to get um, bullets for your pistol and then you can try to get of course kills to win so the score limit is 20 so whenever you get 20 kills um, that is whenever you will get a W or if someone else gets 20 kills first then they win of course so uh, you start off with double time and hardline as your perks and you earn pretty much all your perks if you get the specialist bonus and overall it's just a fun little casual mode you guys can play and enjoy um, and honestly I like it but I don't really like to play party games uh, too much so just because I don't know. I, I like them, but uh, I like kill streaks. <laughs> Anyways, so for some tips about this game mode, um, basically one of the things you will notice as soon as you start using the pistol and you get bullets for it is it doesn't have a lot of strafe speed. So you're gonna get throwing knifed really easy, and you'll see an example of that in this gameplay where I get throwing knife pretty easily um, while I'm trying to shoot somebody. Also, it's not the most damaging pistol in the world, so uh, really try to aim for the head if you can. Right there, you can see exactly what happened uh, to me as I just get throwing knife because there's not a lot of strafe speed, so it's pretty easy to line up a throwing knife on someone that's shooting at you. Um, also, you have to get two kills in order to get ammo, which was not a thing back in Modern Warfare 3, as far as I'm concerned. Um, for whatever reason, whenever you get one kill here, let's say, and I get my scavenger, there's no scavenger packs that actually drop until you get two kills. So make sure you're aware of that. Don't be looking around for a scavenger bag. Um, also, knife fights in this game are very awkward. I don't know why. Sometimes um, you'll press the button and you'll be dead before the animation even goes off. So... Yeah, knife fights in this game are not like Modern Warfare 2 or Modern Warfare 3 where they're clean and you feel like um, the knife fights are consistent. They're very inconsistent in this game. They don't really feel all that nice. Um, and right here, again, another example of that. I have a throwing knife in my pocket going up to knife somebody, and for whatever reason, I press the button, and it just looks like he's able to get one off pretty quickly. So um, those are just a few little quick tips for all or nothing if you're going to try out this game mode. it's Like I said, it's a lot of fun. I really do enjoy playing game modes like this. Um, it's not like Infected and a Gun Game where your stats do not count. It, this will actually affect your free-for-all stats um, on your combat record as well as your overall uh, kills and deaths. So I just want to make you guys aware of that um, because a lot of the party games in this game like Infected, Gun Game, and stuff like that, they do not count towards your overall stats. But uh, in this for whatever reason they do, so just want to make sure you guys are aware of that. And overall, that's pretty much all you have to know about this game mode. It's basically just a free-for-all, and it's it's fun. Um, I really wanted to just finish up the match whenever you guys will see, as whenever I'm at 19 kills, I just want to get a nice little throwing knife kill, um, but I end up messing up, and I still end up going for it, so overall score is like 20-4 to 4 or something like that. There was another guy on the other team, or well, not either team, it's a free-for-all, but he seemed pretty insane with his throwing knives. He kept getting a ton of kills and kill fee with throwing knives right here. Oh, my goodness, awkward. Uh, <laughs> right now, we're at 19 kills. I'm looking to get one more kill. Jumping up here, I heard someone over here. I'm trying to chase him down. I saw the high alert go off, and I end up getting throwing knifed. Really wanted to just try to get on him, get the jump on him, and uh, clean up a throwing knife. But like I said, if someone's shooting at you, just pre-aim that throwing knife. I mean, it's pretty easy. You can see right here, just pre-aiming around a little throwing knife, get... Get it for cheeky kill. Finish the game and overall 20 to 4. Um, and these guys just start talking. They say some pretty weird stuff. And uh, game chat is pretty funny in these game modes. But uh, yeah, anyways, hopefully you guys enjoyed the little video today. Tomorrow I'm going to have a normal video for you guys. And uh, yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed. And I'll see you all tomorrow. Peace. I want to put it in your butthole, Lootless. Put in butthole. <laughs>